we're here in Ellicott City. This is Fats Russell. He's new to Maryland, but he's known Dante Scott a long time. And he's here to uh, help out the Scott family in their hour of need. And we're going to take this, uh, it's a little loud here, so we're going to step outside and uh, introduce you. So we're in Ellicott City. It's uh, late September 2021, and we got the one of the newer Terrapins. Uh, Fats, I understand that you went to high school with, yes. with Dante. Uh, so how long have you known him? Um, for I've known Dante for about seven years, I would believe, or six or seven years. Um, he, we went to the same high school. Um, I was a junior when he came in as a freshman, so um, we played two years together in high school. And, um, been knowing each other ever since. Right. So you know his family? Yes, yes cool. definitely know his family. Um, it's, it's difficult for them to be going through these hard times, but um, you know the Maryland community mm -hmm. and the Philly community came together and um, helped them out tremendously. So uh, sure. I just want to say thank you guys for that. And if you want to donate to the GoFundMe, it's Dante underscore four, and you can see that on Instagram. Yes. Uh, Dave? Oh, yeah, Fats, I was asking uh, uh, Dante a little bit, and he said uh, you're even faster than he remembered in high school. So, <laughs> yeah. so you got, I guess you've gotten a little bit better since uh, since you played with him then? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, the main thing about this year is, um, for me was just getting healthy again. You know, mm -hmm. um, last year I was battling a lot of injuries, and, um, you know, it was a lot of tough times, especially with, like, with the whole COVID situation. So mm -hmm. um, just getting healthier, I feel great now, and um, I feel like I'm 100% and I'm moving better than ever. So. You look a little lighter than a guy named Fats. <laughs> What's behind the nickname? Uh, I actually was a fat baby, like when I was really, really small. Yeah. And, um, you know, it kind of just stuck with me. My mom gave me the nickname. Um, I actually gained 10 pounds, so if I look skinny now, I can only imagine what I looked before. <laughs> so. Got to walk off with Big Ten play, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. How's the uh, how's the team looking so far? We haven't gotten a chance to see, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, what have you noticed? What's your takeaway from pickup ball and things like um, that? We're extremely talented um, in, in every position. So, um, you know, we're, we're tall besides me. And, uh, yeah. and um, we're very athletic. <laughs> um, you know, we have veteran guys with uh, myself, you know, Eric Ayala, mm -hmm. Dante, Hakeem Hart, um, mm -hmm. even uh, Q. Big Q. So um, a lot of guys have been in the position to play um, in college basketball. So it should, it should be very exciting. Anyone uh, caught your eye just uh, jumping out, just coming here, and you're like, okay, that that guy can play. Anybody that's sort of really jumped out to you? Uh, yeah. Well, you know, Dante is just Dante, and Eric's just Eric. Um, but you know, Hakeem Hart, since I seen him, um, took a tremendous jump. Um, he's like six eight, six nine now. And, um, he can really shoot the ball. You know, he's a great defender. So um, that's a guy for everybody to look out for this year. I mean, he's gonna he's gonna make some noise. So, mm -hmm. so off the basketball track, Ed, since I don't really know you yet at, at all, uh, what's your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is You Got Served. I don't know if you've seen that yet, yeah. but um, at my childhood, I watched that like a million times. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, uh, favorite music artist? A uh, little baby. Um, so, so why does everybody who's 20, 22 years old say that? What, what, what's about him? Um, he just, you know, he just took over the, the music industry, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, you know, everything that he gets on mm -hmm. is kind of like the hottest thing out. So, um, yeah, he's just, in my opinion, the best yeah. rapper. All right. Back to basketball a little bit. Like that. So, yeah. Oh come on, Dave! Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, how would you how would you describe your game? What will you bring to the table? I mean, obviously we've seen what you can do. We've seen you play, but how would you personally describe? It? Um, you know, I'm I, obviously I can score the basketball, but I feel like um, you know I'm a great leader. Um, you know, I can get my teammates involved, and um, you know, just like have everybody on the same page type of thing. Um, you know, this year we have. A lot of scores, you know, from one through 15. So um, my role this year will probably just be, you know, get make sure everybody get touches and um, pick my spots offensively. So. And what was the main reason that you chose that you chose to, to to come down here? Was it the you know you saw the need for a point guard? What was the, what was the um, yeah, I seen I seen the need for a point guard. Or did Dante I, pitch you on it? Or uh, was it? Yeah, yeah uh, Dante he actually called me one night and told me how bad um, you know the coaching staff wanted me. Um, that that definitely helped my decision, but um, you know, me and Coach Turgeon made um, a really good relationship, and these you know few months that we've been talking to each other, and 
you know, I've known Dante for like, I feel like all my life. I've known Eric since I was little and I've known Hakeem Hart. So, you know, it's kind of like an easy decision. It's close to home, like an hour 30 away. And my family can come to whatever game. So to see my last, you know, senior year again, mm-hmm. kind of go and have my family there, that, that means a lot to me. I can't top that. So, Fats, thanks. Yeah, thank you, guys. Fats, nice to meet you, man.